Dopping, ja, toch? Dit is dopping hier. Calzone today, boys and girls. This is pizza calzone, the Napolitan way. And I can imagine that some people say, oh, it doesn't have the, the bubble. No, because for Luca, if it has the bubble, the ingredients are steamed and now they are baked. So that's the big difference. Do you choose it sometimes in the restaurant? No. <laughs> so better. <laughs> We're gonna see together how to make it in the best way. Pizza calzone. Ah, it's like a present. So inside we gonna put ricotta, salame, mozzarella of course, some pecorino. We fold it and we make a margarita on top. So with tomato, mozzarella, a bit of olive oil and some basil. Okay, pizza calzone today. If you want other recipes with uh, sourdough or with gluten-free dough, subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's all free. So what we do? Okay, you, 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 you. Well, well, I didn't see anything happen here. You're fast, now, Speedy Gonzalez. So what I did is just yeah? I took this the is dough. which dough is this? So it's a sourdough fermented 48 hours. Mm -hmm. I let it ferment a little bit longer. Uh, we're gonna make a sourdough pizza calzone. So we start, as always, in the semola rimacinata. Different from other times, we push, start pushing also on the crust. We keep all the air inside, but we push first of all on the crust. So we close the dough. We make sure the air doesn't escape. Normally for the pizza, we touch the crust as less as possible to make a, a real Napolitan pizza. As thin as possible. So we push on the crust because we're gonna have to fold it and to not have a huge... Ah, otherwise you have the big crust on the big crust. Yes. You can open it very easily like this, helping yourself in the flour. Or you can learn the schiaffo. The slap. The slap. Here what we're looking for is like this nice, equally open stretched dough. It's important just put a little bit of water in your ricotta so it becomes a little bit more smooth. A big spoon, we put it in the middle of the right side and we start spreading. Not going too close, leaving a one centimeter space. We cut in advance some salame Napoli, julienne cut everywhere. Oh, it looks delicious already. Ah, ricotta and black Vier pepper is... Pecorino. Fior di latte or mozzarella. Just some olive oil. Inside is ready. We're gonna close it. We're gonna fold it now. Bye bye. It's really an envelope. To make sure it's closed. I can see it's really thin. Eh? It's very important that it's very thin, otherwise it's the dough is gonna be uncooked, spongy, it's gonna stay wet. Help yourself with some semola around, because okay. it Make sure it doesn't stick. stick. And we're gonna move it a little bit. <gasps> oh, you're not afraid, oh my god. <laughs> Open it. <gasps> we make three what are you doing? holes. One, two, and three. But is it gonna go like this? Because the real calzone, it's not a bowl, it's not a bubble, it's not a... Okay, boys and girls, if you have reactions, because I know you are like, huh? Put them in the comments, I will be happy to read them. I'm gonna see how people think about calzone, but this is the real Napolitan calzone. So you break it. That's the real one. We break it and we finish it. So ah! <laughs> with some tomato sauce. I like this. Tasty. So we finish it as a margarita on top. Margarita. It's double topping in fact. Oh, oh yes. yes, I like this. We have er al zo a pizza calzone here. Let's check. <laughs> oh, there it is. On the spatula. It's also possible to make it at home with a normal oven. Make your uh, calzone straight on tray. Of course, you're not gonna have the same results because you need a faster baking to have a softer pizza, but it is possible. 
but the best way it's always to put it straight on your pizza peel. Some semola. Dash and two eyes, Grace would be very happy. Eh? <laughs> How do you cut it now? I don't know. <laughs> cut again. How we cut this now? We're gonna cut it in four. Oh, I love the, the slices like this. So we do have like this double layer of crust, but inside it's all the ingredients are mm -hmm. nicely baked. And not steamed. That's the big difference. And also, the dough is so thin that it's well cooked. It's not. Uh, see? It's so that's really important for you. Mmm. Huh? Mm. Double topping, my mm. gedacht. Mmm. <laughs> also. That's really good. With the ricotta inside, it's very good. Mm. 